Go, go, go. <laughs> Hello, everyone, and welcome to another episode of A Couple of Coaches podcast with me, Emma, and, and you, Mike. <laughs> Bring in, bring in the love the vibes the vibes hope it, yeah. everyone is good um and we are sweating again because it it's very is hot so hot yeah but anyway uh, a few things to discuss today yeah um so on sunday our 10 week summer challenge came to an end our clients finished their 10 weeks of their journey and wow yeah it was amazing like, wasn't actually it? wow yeah, yeah. Well, I think we were both taken back. Obviously, we see people's progress weekly, but after the ten weeks, to actually kind of see what people had done in in such a short period of time just kind of shows what can be done. Uh, yeah, when you're that disciplined and and you work hard and you're that consistent over a short period of time, mm. you can make massive change. Yeah. Um, it's all just about effort, isn't it? Like the pe- the majority of the people that did the, did it just gave it 110 percent because they were like, right, what ten weeks? A few people had a weddings, weddings, people had holidays, people had big birthdays. Some people were just doing it for themselves. Mm-hmm. Um, but yeah, people just they just put the foot down, didn't they? Yeah, kind of crazy. And then when we launched it, we said that there would be three winners. Um, so we announced our winners as well. Massive, massive regret. Oh, honestly, that. trying to pick who won, wasn't it so hard? Yeah, we had to ridiculous. write everyone's name down on a bit of paper. Felt like X Factor. Yeah. No one X Factor or whatever. They they put everyone's pictures and they're like, yeah, no, them. And then someone else is like, no, I like them. It was yeah. like me and Emma were doing that. And it was, it was really, It's just that really everyone difficult. did well. Like everyone did so well. Yeah, and everyone just... did. Everyone won in their own way. I mean, yeah. we got, a, I got a couple of messages from people that didn't win, um, but they just said that they felt like a winner anyway, because they had... I mean, one of one of the videos. girls had kind of lost like six kgs, and she was. She just knows that if she hadn't have done the challenge, she would still be where she was where before, she or even worse. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, and she actually, she actually renewed uh, is carry on coaching with myself because yeah. she's just seen the benefit of it, and yeah, she's in a whole new world now, which is amazing. Yeah. So first place uh, was Poppy. Lovely, mm-hmm. lovely Poppy. She just did absolutely incredibly, didn't she? Like yeah. the difference in her body in 10 weeks is mental. Like the muscle that she's built, she's obviously dropped a little bit of body fat as well. Um, she was really, really unconfident in the gym to start with. And one of the things she really wanted to do was kind of be a gym girl yeah. and like be into the gym. And she never could see herself doing that. And then, yeah, built her confidence up. She's going to the gym. She's loving it. She feels confident in there. Um, which I think is just huge to just kind yeah. of get yourself into like a new hobby, um, something that you felt really unsure with at first. And then within 10 weeks, she's feeling really, really confident there. Yeah, amazing transformation, not just a yeah. physical transformation. We did no. say it's not all about just how you look um, in terms of winning it. It was a, a different aspects of things, wasn't it? Yeah. We, we kind of had different reasons for people winning. So uh, yeah, Poppy, well done. Done mm. an incredible job. Yeah. 500 pound coming your way yeah cash and then james and emily yeah, won james their emily. second place voucher they're a couple we had a few couples join us yeah didn't we? Have, they're Doing the ones that are uh getting married yeah they're getting yeah, married so yeah both of them both different goals one was losing body fat one was gaining size and as you probably will see now as mr editor nathan will input some pictures in you will see their uh transformation is yeah very, very, very Amazing. good. But again, another one that was kind of from the confidence, from a men- mentality aspect mm-hmm. and mm-hmm. and physical and just kind of the the overall package. Just yeah. Done really well. Really good job. And then third place was Alexandra and, and Matt, who are another yeah. couple of us who also did absolutely amazingly. They've got two kids. Yeah. Uh, they just busy, got a puppy. Busy, they had a dog already. Busy and work, life schedules. And yeah. Yeah, Did again, really, really, again well. really done really well. Massive body changes, massive. Uh, uh, Matt did a fucking what did he do? A bloody triathlon, triathlon yeah. up Ben Nevis or whatever. Not Ben Nevis, up, up up a mountain and back down. I mean, it was pretty Thank nuts. You. So yeah, really good training for that. They both did high rocks. As both well, did didn't high they? rocks. Yeah, so loads of different things. But oh, there's just so many other people like everyone. Rob, uh, Jordy, Flick, Catherine. So many other people that did an incredible job yeah um really sorry if i've missed uh, missed people's names but there's loads of people that did awesome uh, and they all 
should be very proud of themselves. Indeed, indeed. And it makes us even more excited to do another one, doesn't it? Yeah, another challenge. it does. So I reckon maybe a Christmas challenge will be Ooh. on the cards. So anyone interested, we're thinking about doing a Christmas challenge where the end date will finish around Christmas, you know? So nice. if you win, you get yourself a little Christmas present. You and know then what pig I mean? out on Christmas Day. Whoop, yeah. whoop. No, <laughs> we will not tell you to do that, but we will. So yeah, that was the 10-week challenge. You also had your first Father's Day. I did. On Sunday. Yeah, yeah my, uh, me, and, me and the boy had a bit of time together. And um, How did yeah. it feel, being yeah, a father? Yeah, it felt good. Yeah. Felt good, yeah, father. Father to my pup. <laughs> a porrent. A porrent, yeah. No, Father's Day, so all you fathers out there, hope you had a good day. Mm. Um, also, anyone who doesn't have a father or missing a father or... Anything like that, I hope you had a great day. And nice obviously Sunday. all them mothers that are acting father as well, respect to all you. Respect. <laughs> but, um, yeah, so a bit of a packed weekend, wasn't it? Yeah. What else did we do? What, 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 do I feel like we're missing something? Oh, mm. I went to the surprise birthday. Oh, uh, yeah. And uh, we celebrated our two-year anniversary oh. on Monday. Oh, how funny. Which I actually forgot about. Do you know what? It's really funny because I've been trying to remind him of it, like in the lead up to it, thinking it's our anniversary. Come on, yeah, let's do something. You know what I mean? Paul sang at the back. And then on the morning, we literally just got up as normal, didn't even say anything to each other. And then Mike went to the gym. And this was probably what, like seven o'clock, yeah, eight o'clock? Seven o'clock. And he rang me, like, have we forgot something? I was like, huh? No, he was like, it's I our was, anniversary. I, I was, was like, so oh. happy because I was driving and I thought, I forgot. And I thought... She forgot. She forgot. <laughs> so I thought, I've got a moment here. I need to ring her <laughs> and cement that I didn't forget. So I, I actually rung forget. her and I said... I was waiting for you to yeah, remember. Yeah, bollocks. I got you some flowers. What did you get me? I... I what did I get you? What did I, get you? Well, I mean, you've been saying you're getting me a belt, but I mean, that's this has been going on for about two years the now. The belt's coming. The belt's coming. Everywhere. Is there actually a belt? Yeah, it's coming. I ordered it. End of nice. last week. Lay down. Lay down. Um, lay, down lay down. Lay down. Yeah, just leave him. Yeah. Um, what, a, what a boy. So, yeah. Two years. Two years. It's actually flown by. And do you know what yeah, I said to Mike really the other day? Quick. I was like, time flies when you're having fun. Yeah, feel like we've had a fun yeah, two years. Yeah, we've had a very good good two years. I mean, we, we get on. We've got our own little house. Oh, we've is that got... the bite you were talking about? Mate, there's a worse one on I've my bloody leg. Look at the size of it. No, turn your arm this way. Yeah, there's a bigger one on my leg. Hooch, sorry, I just saw that. Something's um, been munching me up. Yeah, so it has flown by and we've had a very lovely time. More lovely times to come. More to come. <laughs> but yeah, anyway, yeah. Anniversary, anything else to talk about? Um, Why do I feel like there is? Don't know. Uh, don't know. Don't know. What's coming up? Anything coming up? No. I've got Hendu. Ah, uh, yeah, you got Hendu. I've got a weekend with a boy. I think we'll go down to Brighton Saturday morning. Oh, yeah. With Rick and Bruno. Actually, oh, I haven't looked at my yeah. phone. He's pretty replied. So oh. take him down the beach. Um, That'd be cute. Oh, did you hear about that? People in the submarine. No. So, but you know the Titanic? Yeah. So there's a, there's a, a company that are basically built a submarine that goes down to the Titanic. So the, where the Titanic is now on the bed, the floor, sea, floor, whatever, the bed. Floor of the floor of the sea. Yeah, whatever. <laughs> and um, there's a submarine that goes down there and you pay mm -hmm. like 250 grand for a for like a ticket, which is like two hours down, a couple of hours around, then two hours back. It's very much quick. Um, so it's more like a, a millionaire or a billionaire's bit of fun. Um, and they set off signals every 15 minutes so the people above can kind of detect and make sure they're gone, but the signals stopped and they don't know where the submarine is and the submarine <gasps> didn't come back up. This is a small submarine, like the size Ooh. of a car with four people in it. And they just don't know where they Well, they are. got 96. So from when it went down, there was 96 hours of oxygen. I think they're down to like 30 odd today. Oh my God, this is something today, they're going to make a film out of. Isn't well, it? yeah, but they're so fucked up because think of what a horrible way to, to die. die. Like you're being trapped and slowly losing oxygen with like four people in a confined space. they're not claustrophobic if that's like No, they wouldn't be, but still, it's not their job. They're just a few billionaires that have kind of weird the trip. But yeah, this it's, it's quite crazy. And you can only open it from the outside, which is which is also so messed up, I think. Out. Because if it did go back up to the top in the middle of the ocean. Still... Yeah, I, th I think, yeah. So... And also, if it was to open down there, it's like six 
thousand psi or something, and that human sure. can, human can withstand like seventy five. Surely there should be something that um. Surely there should be some malfunction or something where like it gets to a certain amount of oxygen and it shoots itself back up. Yeah, Emma, it doesn't work like that. You can't Jump shoot seat. up anyway. Jump seat. Yeah, what, what that deep, <laughs> idiot. Like, you know, like there's more people have been to space than they have been that low in, in the ocean. Really? You're getting bored of this conversation, no, I'm aren't not. you? No, I'm not. Anyway, I'm this, not. this I mean, by the time this comes out, there's either going to be news that they haven't been found, they've been found dead well, or they're alive. Hopefully they do get found well, and hopefully they get they're rescued. alive, otherwise this is going to be quite... A, sour podcast to listen to why <laughs> talking about people that are now dead i'm um, hopefully they're not You're because i mean i generally reckon that's probably one of the worst ways to go yeah at the bottom of the ocean across oh no let's, let's change well, subject fingers crossed they're okay and they'll be found yeah um anyway today's podcast is we just thought we've been a bit serious fitness we've had our fitness goggles on for quite a few weeks Let's have some fun. Let's talk about life. Let's talk about us. Let's have an argument. Yeah, basically. Let's, <laughs> let's entertain let's have, the let's fans. Have an argument. We don't have any fans. Are um, you not entertained? So we asked, we put a, fit, a question box on our Instagram just saying, ask us any questions that aren't fitness, fitness related. Obviously, when we put questions out, we always get like fitness related questions. So we were like, let's flip it on its head. Let's get some. We actually got quite a few. <laughs> Yeah, you know when you usually put them up and you think oh, I ain't gonna oh, get no any. No <laughs> we actually got quite a few. Shows I no mean, one cares about the fitness. Do there's they? one that's repeated. Um, but yeah, uh, I'm just gonna just, just gonna pick one up. Rule it. Ha. Um, who does what jobs around the house? Huh. Blue job, pink job, isn't it? But it's not really that because I do loads of pink jobs. What? Like everything. <laughs> what? <laughs> like tidying up. Uh, yeah. Well, you, you, everyone's got to put their, their no, little effort I'm, in. No, I'm joking. I think we're quite even in terms of like, obviously, taking the uh, bins out is uh, my job. We're not even. I do more around the house generally. But I'm, not, I'm not saying that's a bad thing. I generally do. Do. Do do. Do but, more but do stuff you? around the house. But do yes. you? Yes. Oh, come on, Michael. Explain I clean the house yourself. week every it's week. It's a debate. You, it's a debate. Yeah. I'm, I'm here. I want to hear your argument. <laughs> but I clean the house week in, week out. You just off. You just occasionally do like a little whip around. You don't... Right. You, you what? The house you, every week? The most you do is hoover and maybe clean a surface. And it's only ever the kitchen surface. When have you ever wiped that glass table, that cabinet or that table? I don't know. When I'm not you? saying you don't do enough. I'm that's not what I'm <laughs> saying at all. You you're actually really good. You're very tidy. And if you can see that something needs doing and I'm like busy or I'm a bit stressed out and I just don't want to do it right now, you will do it. Yeah. I'm not knocking you down nah, at all. No, nah. I I mean I cleaning's not my thing, uh, hence why I would yeah, but prefer you're, to you're have a cleaner. But it. Emma Emma's likes doing it apparently. So we we don't have a cleaner, so Emma likes So basically, me. I do the cooking, like, if we were going to do a deep clean, I yeah, would do yeah, the deep yeah. clean. I mean, I do Mike the does help, help out I with hoover. keeping it tidy. I hoover. Um, I like, find that very therapeutic. Hoover. I do the dishwasher, I do the washing. Whoa, 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 come on. No. <laughs> you do the dishwasher. I generally reckon bit. I do the dishwasher more than you. Nah. Yeah, <laughs> bruv. I do it every morning, pretty much. <laughs> okay, yeah. Um, you do help out with the washing as well when it gets out of control. Or when it's all on the floor. <laughs> um, and you do the bins. Yeah. Okay, let's break this down. Um, right. So Emma does do the majority of household things. Um, I mean, I do uh, the bins. I do a bit of DIY if I can, you know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> or pay to get someone else to do it. <laughs> Let me tell you, I've never seen this kid do DIY in my life. Can I tell you, can I give you an example I took a light out the other day. of some DIY that he's done? Our freezer broke, right? <laughs> oh, I fixed that. No, you didn't. No, I did. Oh, the duct tape. <laughs> Our freezer broke, right, right. Someone, not me, yeah. like left the freezer open. So then what did you say happened? The seal. So yeah, the seal became a bit unstuck no it wasn't or, no, it wasn't it, the it seal fro it basically froze over. basically she left the door open a bit so obviously the the it froze and got all wet and then shut it again so then the ice 
kind of there was loads of ice at the back of the freezer so the drawers were shuffled forward so the door wouldn't shut properly and I thought it was a seal so I just I thought right I ain't got time to fuck around here so I got some fucking duct tape and I fucking <laughs> shut the door because <laughs> I taped it because I was like right I just need it shut until I can figure this out so it didn't do anything no it didn't help the, the, the pressure was too much we spent about a month every night pushing wasn't the sofa a month. It, was up like against... a, it was like a week Emma so no, you're, you're, pushing the sofa up against the freezer to lock it in, to shut it, it overnight. It was about a week. And then I decided to take all the drawers out and get all the ice out and basically reset the freezer. And then it was absolutely fine. So at least I got to the bottom of the issue. I just didn't know. If I asked him to hang a picture, he'd generally pay someone to hang a picture. Because well, I want it done properly. If I want anything done properly, I'll just pay for it to be done. I'm not going to faff around doing it myself and do a, do a half-hearted job or something that could break or something that won't be done properly. If I want a proper job, I'll get my handyman Sammy around here and he'll we do it. We want curtains and he's getting his friend to get curtains. No, I'm getting him to put them up because I don't want to <laughs> fuck about with drilling into walls. <laughs> anyway, anyway, he doesn't do much DIY. Yeah, nah. But I then, think then, you should learn. Nah. Yeah, I mean, I, I would. If I, I mean, I'm just, I'm just busy doing my own thing. Basically, rather... it's pretty split. Mike's not just one of them. No, I mean, I do quite a bit. I mean... Cool. Yeah, Actually Emma's quite Emma's good. Emma's quite Emma's quite clean in terms of she cleans up and stuff. But yeah, anyway, next one. Um, so this one came up three different times. Okay, and I think you can probably guess what it is. Oh, that's um, stupid. And one. what one is actually your mum <laughs> asking it? Um, when are you putting a ring on it? Yeah. <laughs> Got my lip. Uh, when you sort yourself out, do you know what I mean? You're, you're, you're currently, you've got a little chart board and I put gold <laughs> stickers on it. And then once you've completed your gold stickers, I'll think about putting a ring on it. No, look, guys, I know obviously I've joked about, you know, when is he going to propose and everything like that. Like I'm generally not expecting it anytime soon. But just knowing that he plans to, I think I know you, you, you plan to. Do you? At some point. I hope you do. You carry, um, if you carry on ticking the boxes, yeah, you're it, consistent it's and still you do a your daily habits. Bit, I think it's still a little bit soon. We have only just hit the two year mm -hmm. mark. So I think maybe not yet. Yeah, once you, when, when you know, you can't, you kind of know. Do you do know you what know? I mean? You're, you're all right. Um, I think we've got, we've got a few things we need Are to scrub. Are you got No, we've got a few things we need to scrub up on. But apart from that, um, yeah. We've maybe got let's, a few let's, things let's, we need to, to come um, on, let Let's, yeah, yeah. Clean Let's lay it all out on the table. What do we need to scrub up on? You want me to go into it? <laughs> yeah. Nah, you you are you are, no. Generally, right. you are pretty good yeah. all around. Do you know what? I think you say that every episode. You're, yeah, Emma's pretty good. Yeah, She's you're good. You're good. a good mum to the dog. I mean, it's the clothes. Basically, it's, it's the clothes. It's gonna happen, but it's just completely out of it's my hands. It's the clothes situation. Her dad. Do you know what? I can't say anything because her dad pre warned me before we were actually together that Emma is very messy with clothes and you are very messy with clothes. Just she's very, she, do you know what? She's very clean. She, she's good with like, doesn't, she's not very cluttery. Can I just but say, clothes. you've actually just changed the subject and completely swerved that question. No, I said. The question was, when are you putting a ring on it? Oh, no, and now you're talking about me being messy with clothes. <laughs> give them, a, give the fans what they want. Yeah, there's no give date. Give them an answer. There isn't, there is no, there's no specific date. Otherwise you ruin it. I'm not going to start talking about it and saying, oh, I'm going to do it here because it ruins a surprise. It needs to be a lovely, magical moment. It needs to be a surprise. So yeah, and I've already question. told you I want Nathan there to capture it, don't I? Yeah, Anna? well. Do you hear that? Might do it, might do it on the <laughs> podcast because then he'll be here. I want Don't. the day he proposes, I want you to be there to capture it. So if I see Nathan hiding in a bush, I know what's about well, to go down. I'll just do it on the I'll just do it on the podcast. I don't have to pay him again then. <laughs> <laughs> It'll just be a real. <laughs> just be a real, yeah. <laughs> It'd be a good one though. Anyway, next Anyway, question. he's gonna fit a ring on it, let's just say that, isn't he? Um another question is is what do you argue about the most interesting what would you say <laughs> now, we had this conversation Not before really nice. do you know we had this conversation before we had that question we don't we don't argue we don't argue no we, we bicker, bicker. <laughs> i think every and relationship do you know what that, i think 
it's because Emma has a bit of bipolar <laughs> as to why we bicker. Why are you putting all the blame on me? <laughs> no, I'm joking. No, I don't, we don't really argue. We just we just bicker. Like norm, normally, the times that we would bicker are if like we're stressed with work or Max is kind of being a bit of a pain, then we might have a bit of a bicker. But nine times out of ten, we'll bicker and literally. 30 seconds later, we'll just start laughing and pretend it hasn't even happened. So we don't really argue, do we? Yeah. I mean, I called you a twat once, but yeah, I mean, apart from that. <laughs> no, but we've never had like a full blown like shouting argument or like he's never no. stormed out. I've never stormed out. Mate, I ain't yet. storming out, mate. Um, Stand in my ground. It's your house. <laughs> my house. I've, I've got to be <laughs> one Can storm you imagine out. I stormed out my own house? <laughs> <laughs> be like, see ya. Um, so yeah, no, I think, yeah, the main things we argue about is probably Max and being stressed yeah or this is yeah do you know what it's, it's a good question because we don't actually argue it makes no. you realise maybe I do like you more than I thought Aww. 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 Anta. Um. next question is from Mich Mr Ricky Nye. Um. will Mike last in Santorini I don't really know what that means Basically, this is someone we're going to Santorini with. Will Mike last? Right, Ricky, you've I... just screwed yourself right up, sunshine. <laughs> Let me just tell you a story. <laughs> Let me take you back to a, to, a, an idiot, to a restaurant called The Seaside. <laughs> now, we'd been all out. We'd all been out all day. We've been having a good old drink and we've been having a good old drink. We've been having good fun. We ordered some, we ordered some fish. I mean, Rick's getting up. He's going to the DJ. He's... He's putting all night long, all, all night. night. Rick's round mm. the table. We're all like, Rick, you know, mean, calm down a bit. You're a bit drunk. Out of nowhere, projectile vomit <laughs> comes, out of Rick, comes out of Rick's mouth <laughs> all over the table. <laughs> he looked, he looked at us all and then he just ran. <laughs> and by the way, this is someone who had um, done his ACL or something. Can't remember what it is. He, he basically busted his knee. And um, so he couldn't run, so he was limping off. And uh, we just saw him run into the distance and he didn't stop. So yeah, Rick, the, the answer is, will you last, sunshine? He actually just put his foot right in it. He's going to kill you. <laughs> yeah, he's going to hate that. <laughs> Probably won't listen to it. <laughs> no, he won't listen to it, but I'll send it to him anyway. I'm going to cut that up into a reel and send it. <laughs> um, I think what he means is basically, uh, Michael's not the best friend of alcohol yeah that makes sense like he's I just not get drunk quite easy he he doesn't know his limits and he takes it a bit too far sometimes um i think it's more <laughs> i'm kind of like all or nothing so i'm like oh yeah i also don't like a warm drink so i'm like it's there it's like food it's on the plate eat it mm. it's in the bloody cup drink it that's kind of where I need to kind of sort it out. You're, I need to become a bit more civilised with my drink and kind of... Well, the thing is, Michael, like you said, it's all or nothing. He doesn't know how to just have a few drinks. Like, that's not in his nature. It's nah. either none or ten. Yeah. Probably more than ten. Ten's really. fun. Um, whereas I'm I'm a very sensible gal. Yeah, you are very I sensible. I know my limits. I'll get to a point where I'm like, Emma, it's time to stop. Um, or you'll be sick or yeah. I'll be sick yeah there you go um, name two things that the other person does that really annoys you uh oh <clears throat> okay you go we've, I think, we, oh, I think yeah, we've, we've done, done this. this quick but um, Shh, fire them right up. she leaves her clothes all over the floor <laughs> and it's really annoying she leaves all her trainers down by the door so do you and yeah, but not that many. You've got a pair down for every day down there. Yeah. And always got clothes on the floor. I always say you've got too many clothes, but then what will happen is she'll buy more. She's actually been very good recently. Mm -hmm. But Emma, Emma's really clean. She's tidy. She's hygienic. But when it comes to clothes, there's just clothes everywhere. You can't get away from it. They're everywhere. Next thing. Um. Next thing. I mean, no, you don't really do much other things to annoy me. There's something, there's something you've said before. Can't make a decision. Yeah, yeah, your decision making is very, very poor. And then, if you get me to make the decision, you'll then disagree with my decision and say something else. So why didn't you just say that thing? Do you know? 
But no, what do you want? Now. Pizza or spaghetti? Oh, I have spaghetti. Oh, I don't want spaghetti. I prefer pizza. Well, why ask? Uh, can I go now? Yeah. I feel, I feel like I've been grilled enough. Um, Mike, um, I don't like it when you, um, when I'm trying to talk to you and you're on your phone and you don't listen. Mike can't multitask. No. Um, I don't like that. Um, I don't like it when you pick your fingers. He does this mm. thing with his finger where he picks his finger and it makes a sordid noise. <laughs> and I don't like it. Uh, I don't that's, like the way that too. you. I don't like the way that you. <laughs> you don't like other people eating, yet you eat like a pig yourself. Um, Come on, keep him coming. <laughs> keep him coming. Let's I don't get him out like all in the open now. how um, we still don't have curtains in the bedroom because Mike likes to wake up to the daylight. I don't like how. Mike doesn't cook for me. All right, keep going. I don't Come on. like how he doesn't let me watch Love Island on the TV. Come on, keep going. Get him out, Emma. Because that ring's getting further away, I'll tell you that. <laughs> <laughs> I'm joking. There's, you know, everyone's like... They're just little things. Yeah, they're little things. It's nothing that actually, otherwise I wouldn't be with you, would I? Yeah, true. Sorry, I got a bit carried away there, everyone. Yeah. Hey. Um... So, <laughs> oh God. Um, so, um, spit it out. <laughs> sorry, I'm trying to find which one it is. There's a lot of questions. Um, so your mum asked a question, which was, when's the ring uh, going yeah. on the finger? But in the same question, your dad had a question. So they've oh, obviously right. sat down. They've yeah, said that Emma and Mike are asking for a question. Um, so your dad asked, grandchildren question mark <laughs> oh chill out you got one what's he what's he he's yeah. got one oh, he's got one mate so insulting yeah he has got one no i think he means an actual an actual, actual human yeah i mean I'll, again again in, in in time we both want them don't we yeah, yeah yeah definitely definitely would love love a kid a i think kid. as as um Just one Oh, probably two. Yeah, same. Probably two. One or two. I wouldn't mind one, but then I kind of would like the other ones to have a sibling. I think that's quite mm. quite nice. But yeah, um, I wouldn't be fussed either way. I don't think I'd go above two though. Nah, two not after enough. the bloody what the stress max has put me through. Oh, yeah, it depends on your life. It really adult. depends on your life, and you can never say because, like, I've had friends that have had one they're like never ever doing it again have a second one never doing it again have a third, uh, i might have a third i'm just like because i think kids go through stages don't they and you mm. miss that stage yeah i mean i don't miss him as a bloody puppy he was no, cute in that but i don't want i'd rather not have that again same um yeah room. obviously same as same as marriage i mean i mean yeah i mean marriage to me doesn't mean much no i'm not really a i don't really care about getting married but it would be more doing it for you um Cheers. kids yeah hold up i mean definitely like kids hold up. no 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 you know what i mean hold obviously up. if i'm gonna do it it's got to mean something but like if you was like oh i don't want to get married i wouldn't i wouldn't i wouldn't be crying i'd be like oh no do you care fine. at all what do you mean if if, if, it if was i like, didn't want to marry you yeah obviously but not if you not if you were like oh i, I don't want to marry because i'm not really fussed about a wedding i don't want to get married i'm not in though. general i want a wedding but i'm not fussed about a big wedding Go to a registry office and just sort it up between yeah. us. Go Vegas or something. Yeah. yeah. I'm not that bothered. Yeah. I'd rather have kids over getting married anyway. Yeah. I mean, a dog's a bloody tie. I mean, the fact that I've got a dog, I mean, what, dog, 13, 15 years I'm tied to you now, regardless. I might as well just put a fucking ring on it because I'll yeah. be fucking ancient by the time he passes away. <laughs> so there you go. Just signed my life away by getting a dog. Anyway, I don't want to think about that. <laughs> no, let's not talk about that. <laughs> um, so yeah, basically it's something we want, but again, Ooh. just a bit too soon at the moment. Wrap it up. Okay. Um, is that it then? Oh no, we, we've got way more. There's one more. Go on in. But we've already spoken about it. What is it? Who's the tardiest? Oh, stupid question. Yeah, me. Mm. No, Emma, 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 Emma. Just let me have my moment. Mm. Uh, not sh are you at mm. I'll fucking walk off this podcast <laughs> I will literally Emma I, I will walk off the, up, I will I walk even off say. this podcast if you do not agree that I am tidier than you Emma You're don't not, do it I will storm off 
I will walk out my own house. You're not that tidy though. Yes, I am. Your bathroom. Yeah, yeah, no, no, no. Yeah, the bathroom. What? Because I don't fucking. I'm. I would have a cleaner to do that. Like, I'm not going to get down on my hands and knees and start scrubbing stuff. But I put stuff away. I am neat and tidy. My clothes are always away. Emma, get <laughs> Emma. Admit it. Just look. Listen, you're really good at a lot of stuff. You're a good cook. Okay, no, you... I'm. Mike's tidier than me, but Mike is not tidy. Neither of us are tidy. Are you? I am tidy. Are Explain you? how I'm not tidy. Your towel's you know, on the floor in the bathroom. You haven't hung it up. I always hang my towel up. That was one, one, one time. Your office ain't that tidy. Because you hang all the washing up in there and put all the recycling in there. When was the last time you dusted your desk? <laughs> Never. <laughs> Rav, you're missing the point, yeah? <laughs> I'm by tidy. Oh, me. Clean or tidy? Tidy is like no clutter. You like things to be organized and stuff. Come on. Emma, just to say, Mike is definitely tired than me. Come on. Yeah, I said, I said that. Say already. it again. Mike's tired than me. And on that note, we are it. finished because she admitted, and I don't have to storm off. But anyway, can you close the show, please, Emma? Close the show. <laughs> um, thank you, everyone. That was a whirlwind of a podcast. Yeah, that, that felt like five minutes. Yeah, that's gone it? well quick. We've chatted some shit there. Um. Thank you everyone for listening. If you even did listen to that, because I don't even know what to call that. I don't even know what that is. Bit of fun. Um, and Michael, You're sorry. being rude. Yeah, no, no, I'm not being rude. I'm, I'm not being rude to the listeners. Let's just talk about golf. Um, thank you for listening. Please tune in for the next one if you want to. <laughs> after hearing that, we're gonna go back to kind of the maybe we should put off fitness bit. specific goggles back on. Um. Yeah, follow us on socials at M the Coach at Mike Clark Fit at underscore couple of coaches at NJM underscore afflicts with two eyes at Mac. No, at the Golden Cocker so underscore Mac. Max. We'll see you in the next one. Ta ra. Ta ra. <laughs> Bye. Peace. Love you.